Hey, welcome back to Bucky's Customs. Hey, today I'm going to show you how I took that extra bamboo flooring and made this Ritter board using my long mill. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, before we get started with the project, I just have to say thank you to this week's sponsor, CNC Labs, the makers of the long mill benchtop CNC, just like the one we use here in the shop every week. I love my mill, you will too. Go to their website, cnc.com, and order yours today. Now let's get back to our video. I've made a lot of cutting boards this past year and it involves a lot of clamps and sometimes I didn't have enough clamps and I try to batch them and you know in that kind of way but uh, to save on clamps but uh, it doesn't always work that way and sometimes you just need to make one cutting board and you know pulling out the clamps and doing all that just takes up room in your shop so I saw this idea for a Ritter board which is what I made here out of that pile of flooring I saw it on fellow youtubers channel and he actually made one and put it on the wall and that's what I've done with this I've made it so that I can put it on the wall it's always available I never have to get it out and set it up I can glue up right on the wall and it really worked out well. I've done a lot of cutting boards on this. I've done a couple of picture frames on it and it works really well. And all you do is use these pegs and wedges and so now that I have one I don't know how I ever got along without it. So I'm going to show you how I did it. We'll get to it. Now getting started with this project was fairly simple. I knew I needed to take the tongue and groove off of this flooring, so that's what I did. I took the tongue off and then took the groove off and prepared myself to run all the finished pieces through the planer to take the finish off. But the planer blades didn't want to cooperate with this particular material. It just wrecked my planer blades. And as you can see here, I. I, it did take a little off, but for some reason there was just something in this flooring. It wrecked my planer blades, and they were brand new. It even wrecked my joiner blades. But um, what really, really did the job was my Laguna 1632, uh, and that took care of the finish. Once I was done with that, and that took a while uh, with 40 grit paper, once I was done with that, I was able to go over to the table saw and cover it with paper and do a glue up. And in this case here, I was piling them, took each individual section. I was putting three pieces together and then uh, was going to edge glue everything after. Uh, I decided that I was going to use my bar clamps as instead of just stacking them like I did there. and. That worked out really well. The only thing I gotta say is this bamboo is very splintery and you can get a splinter really easy. Uh, I got several during the milling process here so um, just be careful of that. And um, you know I put clamps on top, put clamps on bottom and took care of everything from there now. So uh, it took a while to get that wood cleaned and uh surface it's kind of warm out here today I got the, as you can see I got the uh, the doors open beautiful day out but anyway step one is done tomorrow we'll take it apart and um, we'll start milling the individual pieces and do another glue up now I came down in the shop bright and early the next day and removed all the clamps and set everything up, made ready for uh, milling, and 
I went right to the 1632 and milled the pieces. I um, jointed the edges and glued that back up. And another day came and went and I pulled the clamps off again. And now we have to surface the, the board itself. And that's what I love about these open-ended drum sanders. They really do a great job for big panels. And in this case, it took me a little bit, but we got her done and it came out perfect. Now, once this was all done, I marked all the hole locations on the panel itself selected my drill bits, got it loaded into the drill press, and I managed to drill two holes, as you can see, and I realized I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna figure out how to do this on the long mill. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Chrome, and we're gonna go and select easel open up easel and we got to log in you must have an account to use easel pro or easel and once you're in there we can locate our file and mine is called Ritter board now this opens up the file that I did quite a few months ago now I've I created this file uh, shortly after I got my long mill and many apologies to everyone for not putting out a video back then but I just didn't have time to finish and this one took me so long to mill up to even get to this point that um, you know I just put it on the back burner but as you can see there's a whole bunch of holes here that I put in and basically I just used the clearance tool path and duplicated all these holes put them where I wanted them as far apart as I wanted them you all know how to do that it's fairly simple um, if you'd like to see more detailed easel pro um, tutorials I'd be happy to do them just leave me a comment below and I will do that but uh, this was fairly simple to accomplish and once I did this, you can go into the machine, go down to advanced. Now you can generate a G code this way. Then you can export a G code this way. And we're going to call this Ritter board. I'll just put it on the desktop. And you're done. That's it. So we can close this file and this whole deal. And now we can open G Sender with the little rocket there. Okay, so now we need to connect our machine. So, first thing we need to do, and we are connected. You can see that we are connected. So, we're going to go in and load this file. And I'm going to go to my desktop. New Ritter board, and we're going to open this file. Here's all the holes that I've got. Of course, these two holes back here I've already drilled with a drill press. I'm going to set my Z. Okay. Okay, at this point, you just want to hit start and make sure that obviously your router is on and your dust boot if you're using one and you should be good to go. This did not take long. I think 20 minutes or so for this carve. Um, it really went quick. Didn't have any problems at all and I was pretty happy with it. We managed to get through that with no issues, no tool breakage, none of that.
I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll make sure the file is in the description below for both the easel and the G sender. What I did here was I took an extra piece of the flooring and I made some stops. One for the bottom and one for the left side of the board and I attached them with pocket screws and a coarse thread and it seemed to work out really well. Here I cut my uh, wall bracing, my wall supports. Now we take some final measurements off the wall and we can attach the brackets to the ritter board. Now here the older gentleman is politely trying to tell us that he temporarily attached the brackets to the board with those clamps and was going to screw them permanently with some exterior grade coarse thread deck screws and you can see him doing that right now. The reason why I'm voiceovering is because I have a basement shop and it is pretty much winter and my furnace kept running so I kind of just wanted you not to listen to the furnace. Here we are putting it on the wall finally. Using a French cleat to apply this to the wall makes it somewhat portable if I ever want to take it somewhere or put it on a bench again but for the most part it's going to stay on the wall and I think it came out pretty good there. Now the next thing I'm doing here is I'm putting a paste wax on it and this prevents the wood from sticking to the board itself from the glue ups and it works really well. I... Now here I'm trimming up a bunch of pegs and the next thing will be to make some wedges. Probably too many but you just never know. Okay, so there was a lot to that in the beginning to making that board. I mean, milling that flooring was a very time consuming thing. And I got to share it with you, I started that back in the early summer and it was hot, it was warm, it was a beautiful day and as I said in the video but uh, you know I got thinking why am I doing this I drilled two holes in this board with a drill press and made a mess and I'm like I ordered a long mill as things would happen I got the long mill but I didn't start the Ritter project right away so you'll notice a lot of this is bits and pieces and it's an older video but um, I really wanted to show it to you and share it with everyone because I think it's a valuable tool in the shop. There's, there's just so many things that you can glue up and use this to do it with. So what I want to do is I want to show you really quick w what the process is. So I've got three pieces of wood here. They're all pine. And I'm not going to use glue, but you know, you can get the gist. We'll just put the glue on it. Let's set that on here. Now I've put a stop on the bottom and a stop on this side right here. So if you want to pack it up in and have this be a 90, you can. Typically what I would do is I would, I would load it that way and then slide it over and line it up under the pegs and then I would stick a couple of pegs in now you can see there's a big gap here my wedges aren't that big so we need to put a filler in and I'll use these two pieces of cherry and then we should have enough room to wedge this in there and that's all we do now, if you find this lifting off, pushing out in the center, like you could see this one's bowing just a little, you can use a call. And I've used it with a clamp, with a, you know, a spring clamp. But there, there is a, a bench dog vise that you can get, you know, a screw vise that will fit in this hole. And then you can use a piece of wood, which is a call, 
and or call or whatever I call it a call <laughs> but uh, piece of wood that goes on there and then you just clamp that down so it pulls this right into the table and I know you've seen me use them on uh, my clamps before and you can do both sides that way you know there's plenty of holes in here to use so that's it um, to pull it out I just pull the the pegs and I don't have the cherry wedges made yet but I will get them made and then you know you pull your glue up out I really enjoyed bringing this to you I felt that I really wanted to bring it to you before but I just didn't have time unfortunately it just didn't work out in the schedule so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please go up to that uh, subscribe button if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel I really really appreciate your support it helps us put more content out and ring the notification bell so that you can get notified when I post again that's a really cool feature actually so you know have a great summer everyone and be safe out there